The coronavirus pandemic is affecting all facets of life around the world. Correspondent Mark Irons joins us now to take a closer look at the closures and cancellations and how it's impacting Americans. Mark? Tracy, have we ever seen anything like this before in our lifetime? Restaurants, bars, and movie theaters closed. Flights grounded and retail stores left empty. Major events postponed. There will be no run for the roses this May. The annual Kentucky Derby postponed until September. It's one of the latest announcements in the last 24 hours amid a race to slow the spread of COVID-19. Today, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo assumed full responsibility for his statewide executive action. Your local mayor did not close your restaurants, your bars, your gyms, or your schools. I did. In an effort to limit crowd sizes, we're seeing restaurants and bars close in states across the country, giving some exceptions for takeout and delivery. You might rethink dinner and a movie. AMC and Regal, the two largest theater chains in the U.S., are shut down. How many should I get? And one final beer run in Pennsylvania after the state announced an indefinite closure of liquor stores starting at 9 p.m. tonight. Major retail outlets like REI, Foot Locker, and L.L. Bean are locking doors. And Walmart, known for staying open 24-7 at many locations, is limiting store hours. And vacation destinations are left bare. Mickey and Minnie Mouse wave goodbye for now with Disney World and Disneyland closed. In New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy issues a statewide curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. All non-essential and non-emergency travel in Jersey is strongly discouraged. This will be remain in effect for the foreseeable future. We want everybody to be home. In the past two weeks, TSA says 5.2 million fewer people have passed through airport security checkpoints. Airlines are also cutting back on domestic and international flights. One example, American Airlines has suspended about 75% of its long-haul international flights. Tracy. Okay, thank you. Mark Correspondent Mark Irons, thanks again.